What is happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 165 of the Games and Grounds podcast. My name is Simitri here, as always, with Finn Steele. Hello. Finn, how are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you very much. Firstly, Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. Happy 2023. Yeah, Yay. and this is the first episode of the year. It so is. it's a good one. Yeah, We're starting off the year the right way. The Games and Graps way. The Games and Graps way. <laughs> a couple of days late. Yeah. But we're all good. It's all right. It's all but good. it's all good. We're here. And that's the most important thing. Yeah. Nice. How was your Christmas? Good, thank you. Pretty uneventful, but that's all right. Just uh, spending time at home with my mum and dad. Opening presents and whatnot. Eating too much hey. chocolate and mince pies and food in general. <laughs> so you had a Christmas then, basically? Yeah, basically. Yeah, pretty much Christmas. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> How about you go. that's awesome. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, man, it was good. Um, yeah, really good, actually, to be fair. Probably the best Christmas we've had in a long, long time. Awesome. Good. Yeah, so really happy about that. But I'm not going to lie, glad to be back and doing some uh, uh, normal routine stuff, like actually being at work and doing <laughs> this. And yeah, yeah. You, you know, it's, it's okay having the time off and being able to do what you want or whatever. I mean, this is you every day. Pretty much. <laughs> but, it's pretty great. But yeah, um, it's good to be back in the routine. Cool. Good stuff. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm good. Excellent. Feeling good. Ready for a new year. Ready for a new year of podcasting and wrestling stuff and all of it. Let's yeah. go. All the gaming. You get everyone. All the gaming. So much gaming. So, much gaming. so many games coming out. For, <laughs> for crying out loud. <laughs> Too many. In January, there's quite a few coming out. Could be big ones. I oh, know. We'll get to that. It's crazy. We'll get to that. We'll get yeah. to that. But it's nuts because I would love to just be like, oh, I'm not going to buy any games. I'm just going to finish the ones that I've already got. <laughs> then you're going to get the fear of missing out. It's like, yeah. Oh, I want to play these games. Everyone else is playing. Yeah. Oh, look at all these games that people are going to be talking about on Twitter for the next two weeks before they forget about it. <laughs> yeah. I want to I be, be in that. that conversation. Yeah. I want to join in. Yeah. <laughs> god damn it so yeah FOMO just proper kicks in exactly it really does all stupid been gaming <laughs> all been there it's just there it's still, just constantly there. Const- 12 months of the year constantly yeah pretty much yeah I'll tell you one thing I've been doing actually and I started doing a lot recently is doing all of the Microsoft reward stuff yeah same here it's good you get loads of points so quickly it's like so time. many points like I so I I have like the auto, I'm going to turn it off, but I have the auto redeem like five pound Xbox voucher per month thing. Oh yeah. Uh, so I had like 125 points earlier on today. Nice. And I went on to my Xbox and I looked at the punch card and it was like, Oh, do this, this and this. And then all of it. Then I downloaded Bing, the app on my phone. Yeah. Did all the stuff on there. And then all of a sudden I've got like, you know, 1,600 points. Yeah. You get so many. I do it like every day. It's like, you can go on Bing on your web browser do like mm. 30 something searches you get points the search yeah. brand or whatever and then you've got your daily tasks and then you've got your monthly stuff on xbox and you play start on your xbox app if you play a pc game online you get another 250 points just for doing that yeah it's yeah. crazy like have you got yeah. do you like because the bing app has like quizzes and stuff that you go on and do every day yeah yeah i do that and well. they take take like a minute or so and yeah. you get points for it yeah you didn't have to do it you so just that- press the thing go to the page and then they give you the points just for looking at it yeah. How yeah. many points would you say that you sort of come out with per month? Per month? Roughly. Um, oh, a lot. I'll tell you how much I've got now, actually. Hold on. Let's have a look. But I do it. I literally do it every day. It's like my, my thing. My my morning routine. I get up, do my Microsoft points. To be honest, <laughs> it's, it's going to be my routine now because it's just awesome. Like, yeah. Like, I've got a here, game. Here's, here's free stuff for doing nothing, really. Yeah. Well, I've got Game Pass up to April. I don't think I've ever paid for it after the first like month. <laughs> and I've got enough for another three months already. Yeah. Oh, that's re- what? So, that, that, yeah, because I mean, you can redeem that for Game Pass every month, can't you? Yeah. So, right now, I've got 52,814 points sitting in my account. Right. That's mental. It's mental. That's mental. <laughs> and recently, I, I just paid, I bought um, Disco Elysium on Xbox, um, used some module points, and it ended up costing me like two pounds. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good bargain. Absolutely nuts. I'm, I'm just going to go on and do all the stuff every day. Yeah. And just clean up yeah it's insane i highly recommend it yeah but never have to pay for game pass again it's great 
Well, no, it's, it's it's just nuts that you can just go on and be like, when it says check out this game, I thought, oh, I don't want to buy that game just <laughs> to get Microsoft points. And then you just click on it, go to the store page, and it gives you the points. Yeah, exactly. It's that easy. It's like, oh, this stuff's really easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they've changed so, it. They've yeah. changed it this year for like the Xbox Game Pass quests. Because before you'd get, you'd like to play every week, you get one, like play a game for 25 points. And now it's like you got one mm. for do like a certain thing for more points but yeah i don't know but it's a bit, bit more intensive but i think it's still be worth it yeah well i mean i there's one on there now and it's for it's, for, it's like an mmo rpg oh, yeah. game and it's like, online something like that yeah that's it and it's yeah. like it's like it's worth 250 <clears throat> points but i've no idea what the game is or how intense that's gonna be yeah i don't think it's intense especially level up a few times get a certain amount of exp i think basically um mm. But it is more than it would normally be. Because normally it'd be like buy or just like go in and kill ten enemies. But this is more, mm. quite a lot more to it this time. So yeah. But yeah. But hey, even even if they get them completely, there's still loads and loads of points you can get just by I don't know, googling. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> on being, it's, yeah. it's it's just awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna keep doing that. It's gonna become a really annoying addiction, but one that's <laughs> gonna be worthwhile. So I'm buzzing for it. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. So right, let's 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 go straight into it. Okay. What have you been playing, Finn? Well, indeed, I'm still slowly getting my way through God of War. I say this every week. I'm, I'm getting through it. <laughs> it's been two weeks since we last did the podcast because we we well a week. Or, yeah, it's been two, yeah, two weeks. weeks. Yeah, this will be the second week. So we have one week off, right? Yeah, over Christmas because nothing happened over Christmas really. Yeah, literally nothing apart from Christmas. Wise. Yeah, yeah. I just took a week off. Um, but yeah, I'm still getting through God of War slowly. Like I'll go through later without playing it. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. so we can play it now. Um, I do end up enjoying it when I do play it. Um, I've just got the spear. I don't know if you've got that far yet. Fucking spoilers, Finn. Oh, my bad, my bad. No, I do not have the spear. Uh, what spear? What is this spear that you speak of? It's, it's, now it's... I'm going to have to play it when we're done this to try and get to where you are with the spear that I didn't know existed until you just <laughs> ruined it for me now. Thank you, Finn. My bad. It's pretty cool, though. Um, oh, it sounds great. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty great. Uh, if, only I, if only I didn't know it existed... <laughs> Yeah, it's I could just discover for me that well, for myself. So. Spoilers! <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good, honestly. Okay. I'm, I'm, I assumed that he would get more weapons because there's stuff in the game that you can't do with the stuff that you've already got. So yeah, he's trying to do I, it. I had a feeling that new stuff was going to come. Yeah, and then they tell you, oh, you can't do that yet, great toys. And then he's get still swing up, swinging it back to it for 10 minutes. Yep, no, I like can't a do fucking it. idiot. Pink. <laughs> yeah, but the NPC that's with you is like, <laughs> I don't think you have the equipment to do that now. Oh, Really? I'll show you. <laughs> shing, 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 shing. Does exactly. Nothing. Yep. Same here. <laughs> why are we just so? Why are we just fucking idiots who do this? I, I don't know. We're <laughs> we're gamers. We don't we don't have to think. We yeah. don't think too much. Oh, game! You, you're telling me what I can't do in this game. <laughs> I'll prove you wrong. Ten yeah, minutes like, later. You're actually right. Let's move on. I'll, I'll do this later, probably. Pretty much. <laughs> we're smart. Um, <laughs> what else? <laughs> More Rocket League. I'm still addicted, addicted to Rocket League. I see you on it all the time. We yeah. had a, oh, we had a good few games though, didn't we? Really good, yeah. We were kicking ass. I think I think we might be the best Rocket League players of all time. Just gonna put that out there. Yep. Yeah. I think. I mean, I don't think there's anyone better. Yeah. I. It's pretty much uh, you know, Yeah. Uh, we, we may we may as well have all the esports trophies and yeah. be an esports team, but just us two. Just us two. Yeah. We didn't need anyone else. Just, With the yeah. games and graps logo on our t-shirt, <laughs> and people watching us in a massive arena. Yeah, that'd be great. Winning competitive mode on Rocket League, like absolute legends. Yeah, call it Rocket League. Let us, you know, let us know. Yeah, we're available. Um, <laughs> but no, recently been playing. You know, have you played the Rumble mode? No. It's basically the mode with items, so you get like power ups and things every ten seconds. Ooh. It's so, oh, okay. It's so much fun. <laughs> it's it's like less. So what, what kind of what kind of items? Uh, so just there's loads. So you get like a, a boxing glove, so you can punch the ball as hard as you can. Uh, you get like Ooh. a boot, so you can kick your opponent. Um, you can teleport with an opponent. You can, uh, well, you get spikes on your car. So if the ball hits you, you stick to your car, which is good because you can just like drive them to the opponent's goal. <laughs> was this something that they did before? It's been in there for a while, I think. Yeah, because I think I might. Cause I remember at one point they put a ton of new stuff in there. There's like a basketball mode. Yeah, that's still in there. So right it's now, still there. So I might have played the rumble mode before, but uh, not for a while. Yeah, the spike thing rang a bell. Yeah, it's cool. It's yeah, it's. I highly recommend checking it out because you can get to the extra modes mm-hmm. underneath competitive, and you got uh, the rumble. There's like an ice hockey one, um, basketball, and 
uh, oh, drop shot, which is a bit weird. I don't like drop shot, but uh, yeah, it's, it's it's really fun. I I might been playing it most at the minute because it's just it's just wild. It yeah, it's less serious oh, than enough. the main game. You don't have to think about it too much. It's just yeah, it's so cool. What a game though. Still, still played by so many people as well. It's amazing. Yeah, literally you don't have to wait any time at all to get into a game. You press search and then nope. three seconds later, boom, you're in a game. It's yep. amazing. Crazy. It's been out for what? It's got for ten years nearly, surely. Yeah, wasn't it like one of the first PlayStation Plus games? Was yeah, I think it, it was definitely. Cause it was, I remember it being free when it first came out. Yeah, but it's got to be approaching ten years now, ish. It's got to be. It's mental. But yeah, so so good. Really enjoying it still. Yep, still going strong. What a game! What a game! Uh, I've been playing, a game. playing through the uh, Castlevania collection on uh, PS Five, PS Four slash Five. Oh, I so. saw you tweet that you beat Castlevania 4. Yeah, I've been pretty much... Yeah, I've been tweeting all the time about them. But I'm, I've been all the way up to Castlevania 4. I've got one more left to do, which is on the like a Mega Drive game called Castlevania Bloodlines. Um, so that's cool. I'm is, playing... this part of that, is this part of that collection that Konami brought out a while ago? Uh, yeah, so Konami brought out a few collections. They've got the Castlevania collection oh. and the Contra collection, uh, which I've been playing through. I bought the Contra one for like £4 on sale the other day, mm. which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is a fun old school game. It's got all, it's got all the NES games, all the Game Boy games, uh, Super Nintendo games, Mega Drive games. It's yeah, really cool. Love me an old school collection. Me too. Also bought like a bunch of Mega Man collections as well. Which are, like I love me some mm. Mega Man. So, yeah, love old games. Yeah. Love old games. Me too. Retro gaming. It's good mm. stuff. I love it. Satisfying as well. And you find that some of these games, like some games, don't hold up. Obviously, yeah. some of them are just complete ass when you compare them to sort of newer games but some games you go back and play them and you're like wow this is like unfucking believable why i would love this but now yeah exactly like, like just Force. this gameplay with better graphics yeah cost is for especially being a super nintendo game it's like just like an excellent super nintendo platformer mm. slash whatever it's so fun like there's a reason people still make games like this today like indie games yeah because they're just timeless you could say I think I have that collection on Switch, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, check mm. it out. It's awesome. I want to get yeah. the, I want to get the Total as well at some point. Oh my god, man, it's so good. Yeah, I bet. But it's it's so hard. Oh yeah. Like, how did anyone beat these games in the arcade? Like, how much money have, <laughs> did people have? I know, right? Yeah, it's the same with Castlevania. If it wasn't for save states, I wouldn't beat any of them. I just, I just got no. a save state every after every level. <laughs> so okay, save. I killed them. It's absolutely cool. impossible. <laughs> it's insane. It's not, it's, they call it Nintendo hard back in the day. <laughs> yeah, and they were fucking right, Nintendo hard. <laughs> so hard. So hard. Thankfully, on the Turtles collection, you can if you just keep pressing start, it puts loads of lives on for That's you. Cool. That's awesome, actually. <laughs> Infinite Which lives. you need, because otherwise, you're, never, you're not getting past the first level, probably. <laughs> the first boss. Yeah. No way. I feel like it was with Castlevania as well. Mental. Yeah, Bebop comes out, no chance. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Um... What else about I think it's about it, really. A bit more Bayonetta 3, which is still mental and fun. Mm. Very cool. Oh, uh, what else? The, yeah, I saw you playing Yeah, I saw you playing that, actually, on Switch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's so much fun. Just Bayonetta, crazy Bayonetta action. Just over, yeah. the, over the top. I think you said, I said this last time, didn't we? But it's just over the top action mentalness. I don't know if we spoke about it on the pod, but we definitely spoke about it over text. Yeah, we might, yeah, I might have been thinking of that actually. I might have spoken about, spoken about it on stream as well. Maybe I'm, I'm getting my wires crossed. But yeah, Bayonetta, so much fun. Just more platinum games, wild, insane, over the top action stuff. Is it still like, like it's just, this it sounds stupid, but is it like still like sexy and all that kind of, of course, thing? Of course. It's Bayonetta. Because obviously they, they proper sexualize her up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's very much that. There is like a, a censorship mode you can turn on if you want. Um, but why don't do that? Come on, why, why are you playing Bayonetta? Why, if, you you're not that? Buy, if you're buying that game, <laughs> you're not there for censorship mode, are you? <laughs> exactly. It's like it's it's if you have to have censorship, that's a good way to do it. You can like switch it on and off. So if it has to be there, then yeah. that's cool. But yeah, it's it's just great. Bayonetta's awesome. Yeah, want to see Bayonetta's ass? Don't put the censorship stuff on. <laughs> yeah, no, why, yeah. It's why, as simple as that. Why wouldn't you want to see Bayonetta's ass? Come on. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid, sexy bayonetta. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so so fun. Yeah, uh, I think that's about it. It's all my Christmas gaming, good New Year's gaming. Uh, so how about yourself? 
Uh, I've been playing. I've been playing God of War. Not you know enough to get to the spear bit, obviously. No, my bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Um, so I got the God of War controller. Kaylee, uh, we we found one just randomly in game one day. Nice. I stood in the queue buying something else, and Kaylee was like, "Oh, I was in the other day. I really wanted to get you the God of War controller, but it's sold out." And the guy behind the counter piped up and went, "Oh, we had one of them randomly come in yesterday." Oh, that's nice. <laughs> good timing. So yeah, we got it. Excellent. Good, amazing timing. So we've got that. Uh, so I've been playing God of War and, you know, I still like it, but I'm really taking my time with it. In, not because like, I'm, you know, I, I can't be asked playing it. I'm taking my time when I'm playing it because I find a lot of the side, like the side stuff really fascinating. Yeah. Me like, I love the back. I love the backstory of like the characters. Uh, I've just done some stuff with Mimir. No spoilers for people that are playing it because don't, you know, don't say spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i've been doing yeah, some stuff do with mamir and a, a woman that he used to love and you know he finds out some stuff about her and it was you, it's just really interesting and it really does distract you from doing the main quest so i'm really putting it off doing the main stuff because i'm just enjoying exploring the worlds and uh finding out stuff about the the characters by doing the side quests i just find it all very very interesting yeah, me too. I like to get all the side stuff done first, and then I'll move on. When I've out, when, yeah. when I've got out of things to do, then I'll go on to the main main quest. Yeah, but I feel I don't feel like I'm in any rush to to get myself through it. I'm just enjoy when I when I do play it. I play for like two or three hours at a time, and I find myself really enjoying it. Yeah. Um, and I, I know that I will get through it because I, I love it, but I, I, I don't want to burn myself out on it. Yeah, I don't maybe. Um, I'm at the point now, I think I've got all my abilities, so I want to go back to the old areas and go get what I couldn't get before. So I think Did I you get the spear? Uh, no, I haven't actually, no. What spear? Oh, what are you okay. talking Well, you should get it. It's really... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to spoil it for yeah, you. God, there's, spoilers, uh, there's, there's, you get a spear, I'm really sorry. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> uh, but no, so yeah, so I was gonna, my next time I get a jump on, I'm going to go around all the old areas just picking up stuff. Yeah. I do, I, that's the thing, I just like looking around, but also I'm looking forward to getting all the other abilities just so that I can go and do the stuff that I can't do currently. Yeah, exactly. But a moment of blast, I'm like, you know, 23 hours in ish, but I've been taking my time so much with it that, you know, I, you know, I, I definitely could have been further along and gotten stuff, you know, that the story wants to give you, but I've just been taking my time with it, really enjoying it, searching every sort of corner, even the corners that I know that there isn't going to be stuff in, but <laughs> yeah. You still look anyway, just in case, because gamers were stupid. <laughs> oh, ten actual, but nice. This is worth it. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. but it's uh, it's it's really really great, and it's, it's incredibly beautiful as well. I mean, I said this before on the podcast, but uh, the level of detail in the game is really something else. Like, yeah. there's there's no other game that looks as good as that. Yeah, it's incredible. So so good. So so good. Um, but you know, mainly I've been playing a lot. I've been playing a lot of Switch. I have. Uh, I've tried High on Life on Xbox. Oh yeah, very funny. Very funny. Um, only played like the first hour or so, but I'll go back to it at some point. It's really good. Cool, awesome. Uh, but I've been playing a lot of Switch. So I've been playing. I got Sonic Frontiers on Switch for Christmas. Nice. So I've been playing that. Nice. How's everyone on Switch compared to? Fine, to be honest. Yeah. Um, you, you know, you get you get a bit of pop in every now and then, which you completely expect from a Switch game. Yeah, that's fair. But in terms of the way it runs, uh, it keeps up with Sonic, it, um, which is the most important thing. Of course. <laughs> and having played the PS5 version, honestly, it's it's totally fine. Yeah. Yeah, as I've heard from a lot of people, it's, you know, it's been made well for the Switch. It seems like it was made for the Switch first and then everything else. Yeah, um, I remember you saying that. You said that when you played the PlayStation version, you could sort of tell that it was made for the Switch and then ported to yeah. PlayStation almost. Yeah, yeah, because it feels... Like, if it was made specifically for next-gen consoles, I feel like it, it'd look mm. a lot better. Uh, yeah, for not, sure. I not, agree with that. Not that it looks bad or anything like that. It's still, looks, it's still a good-looking game. Oh, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it feels like a Switch game, which isn't a bad thing. It's just, you know. No, definitely not. I mean, there's some fantastic-looking Switch games, like we mentioned last time. There's some ass-looking ones as well, Pokemon looking at you. But, <laughs> yeah. Pokemon. Um, yeah, Pokemon. <laughs> uh, but Sonic doesn't look or run like a total ass. But I'm good. just I'm obsessed with not doing what i'm supposed to be doing <laughs> yeah I'm, you know what i mean yeah, I, i'm absolutely. obsessed with like running around finding springs smashing boxes and doing stuff that is nothing to do with the story i just want to run about yeah 
No, same. It's like, I, I love like the with, world. Yeah, I like it with everything. It's like if I accidentally go to the main bar before I finish exploring, I'm like, oh, shit, no, reload my save quick. I don't. Wanna, <laughs> I'm not yeah. ready yet. I haven't checked the corner of the day yet. No, but it's, <laughs> you know the story makes you do random stuff before it really progresses anything. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I'm doing Amy things. stuff at the minute, like, um, and you know I had to find the the lover for the little rock person. Uh, yeah. So I've been doing stuff like that and none of it really makes any sense, but I like it. Yeah, I love it. It's like a, wait till we get to the boss fights. Oh boy. Uh, I've only fought one, you know, like where um, like he throws his arms on the floor and then you run up his legs. Yeah. No, I mean the big boss uh, fights. The supersonic boss oh, fights. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You, you're in for a treat. Trust me. Turn up the volume. Yeah, I remember you saying that they were really good. So good. Let you do my favorite boss fights all year. Maybe Elden Ring. Second favorite boss fights all year. <laughs> so good. No, nah, but I'm really enjoying it. Like we said before, I mean, this is definitely the direction that they should take Sonic in going forward. I mean, even the, like, going back and doing the, you know, the short stages. Yeah. For me, they're secondary in comparison to the open world stuff. I <laughs> prefer the open world stuff because it's it's a, a really cool... You, you can tell they've tried to get down the Breath of the Wild route with it. Yeah, definitely. Even, like, with the noises and stuff that, you know... Uh, go on during the world when you do stuff. It sounds very Zeldery. Yeah, big time. But it's great, and it's not a bad thing. They've just they've Sonic'd it, and that's great. Yeah, it's great. It's a good Sonic game. It happened finally. Three Sonic. Finally, game. yeah. It's been <laughs> so long. Yeah, I'm crying out loud. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been playing that. I've been playing GTA trilogy as well because I got that on Switch for Christmas. Also, awesome. Um, I've been playing through GTA Three currently on the second island. Nice. Some of it's a real pain in the fucking ass to do, but um, <laughs> it's really fun otherwise. That's good. Yeah, that's that, that PS2 feel. It's like some, a lot of times it's really fun, other yeah. times you got it's just like really old fashioned, like other controls or just go do this 20 best quest in the world in, in a pro. Yeah, so, yeah. And it's like some of the <laughs> missions are really short, like I'm um, 40 missions plus in. Yeah. And it's like, oh, go and take out uh, these cops with a sniper rifle. And it's literally that. You do. It takes about five minutes, and then your mission's done. You're like, I thought these missions were a lot more in depth than this when I first played it. <laughs> yeah, in my, in my memory, these were a lot more involved. Uh, in reality, not so much. It's like... <laughs> yeah, in reality, not at all. Yeah, and it's it's mad, really. Like the the, the story's literally told through cutscenes and not anything you do in the missions, really. Yeah, it's old school, but. A, Again, it's got that retro feel to it, and that's what I love. I'm really sort of buzzing off that at the minute. And, you know, going back, I've been playing the Turtles collection as well. Nice. Which um, you don't... I mean, I love that all these games are in one place, and I love the package that they've put together for it because if you go into, like, the, the menus and stuff, you can really... You can look at all the box art and all the manuals and all that sort of thing, and it's so cool. That's very cool. All that the concept art and stuff for the like the different versions that came out, and it's great. And I love the turtles anyway. Uh, this, this collection, it's it's you know the games aren't perfect because they're really really old, like oh, us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's why I love them. That's uh, is that Konami as well, the turtles games. Yeah, that's Konami. Yeah, uh, yeah, they do really good connections because it's similar with the uh, Castlevania ones as well. They could even also play like yeah. the Japanese versions of the games. It's really cool. Yeah. No, that's really, really cool. But are you, to tournament fighters, holy shit, it's so oh, yeah. difficult. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's old, old arcade games were insane back in the day. It's yeah. There to, it was there to take your money. Yeah. Just keep pumping in however much arcade games were then, for 20p's or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, 20p. Man, we can't get much yeah. of 20p these days. These are, these are uh, to be like a fiver, put a five pound note in. You play about 10 yeah, and, basically. You yeah. get 10 credits or whatever. Die within the first level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah that, that's that's where the bulk of my gaming has been going. Uh, it's just been playing on Switch just because it's convenient. That's fair. Um, and yeah, I, I just enjoy it. I just enjoy playing games in handheld. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. And I also played some old school wrestling games the other day, which oh, yeah. I was loving. Oh, no, I saw you on the, uh, I forget what it's called, like the emulator on Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. It's yeah. To to no, 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 no. I was playing it totally oh, legit. Of course, yeah, yeah, legally, yeah, of course. On a Nintendo 64. Yeah. Uh, and a PlayStation 2 console that was definitely set up. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, of course. Next yeah. To my Xbox. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a good couple of hours on No Mercy. It's just hold, it's just so fucking good. Yeah. Like, it holds up so well. Uh, and I was playing SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain, which is still the best SmackDown game that they've, they've ever made. Yeah, easily. So good. The art style is phenomenal, and that's why the game still looks so great now. Yeah. I mean, that's like, I played it not so long ago as well myself, and it's like, mm. it still looks good. These people still look like yeah. the people they're supposed to look like. It's amazing. Like, some of them look better than what they do on WWE 2K22, which is crazy to me. Like, <laughs> RVD yeah. and Eddie Guerrero, they look amazing on this game. Yeah. And then you play as RVD on 2K22, and he looks like he's had a stroke. <laughs> yeah, it's coming out, and they, and they think he's never worn before because they can't get like this yeah. to whatever it's supposed to be. Yes, just make it up. Yeah. Weird. But yeah, Here Comes the Pain games. is still so good. And another great thing about it, no commentary. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, these games, no commentary. Oh, so good. Yeah. God bless you, no commentary. <laughs> oh, a big move from wherever. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. they say it in like a way that they've recorded it. Big move from Taz. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> and it's just so stupid but oh, yeah, yeah no commentary just just bgm and it's like oh yeah this is this is the shit that i'm talking about yeah this is what i need in my life <laughs> so good it'd be so good if they could be master it somehow but it'll, it'll never happen that's the big thing i would love you know on the nintendo switch online plus expansion pack if they put like no mercy and wcw revenge and stuff like that on there yeah that'd be so cool because that that would just absolutely rip yeah. That never come Still. off my Switch. <laughs> yeah. I would literally just play my Switch. If I just if they put No Mercy on it and you know, the, the other wrestling games, I wouldn't play anything else. Yeah. Put on on it as well. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. Like they're gonna do with Goldeneye. Can't wait for that. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Can't wait to suck at Goldeneye all over again. <laughs> Good time. I'm gonna get the AEW game on it on Switch. Oh yeah? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, they, they, because they, they say it's supposed yeah, to be. I feel like it's a Nintendo y type thing. Yeah, that makes sense. I see that. They say they're supposed to control all this play like the old N64 games, like No Mercy and whatnot. So yeah, that, that's, that's what I want. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Big roster of wrestlers, you know, modern day wrestlers and stuff like that, graphics and what have you. But just, yeah, I'm going to get it on. I will probably end up getting it on like PlayStation or Xbox as well, just for the you know, achievements or trophies or whatever. Yeah. But um, I'm going to get it on Switch just for the convenience of having it in handheld. And I I just feel like, yeah, those games are just so special. Those ones made like using the AKI system. Yeah. Uh, for No Mercy and WrestleMania and the virtual pro wrestling and stuff like that. It's, uh, yeah, they f- it feels very Nintendo to me. So I'm really looking forward to the AEW game. I hope it comes out soon. I mean, it's, you know, it can't be far away, can it? Yeah, they've been talking about it a lot. So hopefully soon we'll get a release date. We'll yeah. see. It's cool that they changed the, the dynamite set just in time for that game to come out anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good timing. Good timing. It's like wrestling companies hate video game companies. <laughs> yeah. It happens every time, doesn't it? Like Yeah. Yeah. They change like an entrance music or change this or that yeah. or whatever. Someone will dye their hair. Yeah. <laughs> just something so like, you know, AEW now changed the whole stage set. Yeah. There's gonna be an out of date before it even comes out. Yeah, <laughs> like it's literally already out of date. Yeah, it's... video game make- makers just like for fuck's sake. I thought we had. Yukes are like, oh god, I thought WWE was bad for this shit. Now <laughs> AEW are doing it as well. It's like bollocks to pro wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> yeah, but I'm really looking forward to the AEW game. It's hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Cool. Oh, speaking of uh, older games, I'm playing uh, Dark Cloud on PS2. Oh it's yeah, like I saw a... that actually. Yeah, it's really good. It's like a dungeon crawler slash town builder. You go into the dungeons, you collect like pieces of the town because like like the world got attacked by like a dark genie. But, like this old wizard saved uh, all the people in the houses and things by putting them in these little capsules. So you got to go down to the dungeons, collect the capsules, and rebuild the village as you see fit. It's very cool. You said so many things, <laughs> but not much stuff all at one go. There, yeah. Like, like, that like, game, <laughs> that plot sounds crazy. It's insane. It's it's a lot. Of, it's a lot, of non- lot a lot of nonsense, but it works and it's really fun. <laughs> I spent I spent I far too much time. It's a lot of nonsense. Yeah, <laughs> I spent far too much time building my city. Like, I want this tree doesn't work here. I need to put it somewhere else. Put it <laughs> here, there you go. <laughs> it's house needs to be here. 
But it's cool because some people have to request, like, oh, this person wants to be near the water, so you need to put them near water. And this person wants to be near this other person, so you have to put them together. And yeah, it's cool. It's a nice little side. Cool. Yeah, it's fun. Sounds Animal Crossing y. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Animal Crossing with dungeon crawling. Cool. Yeah. It's fun. And it's on PS4, so trophies. Yay. Oh, nice. Is it on the? Is it from the collection, or have you? Is it just? It's from um, way back on PS4 when they added a few PS2 games. They had like five or six <laughs> game trophies. But, oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, because Parappa the Rapper Two was one of them. Exactly, yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, really fun game. Excellent. Wow, we we did a, got a bunch of sidetrack there, didn't we? A little bit, yeah. A little sidetrack. That's okay. Yeah. That's, that's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. There's so much stuff to talk about. We just get too excited. We do. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. So that's basically what I've been playing. Um, if you can remember all that stuff, everyone who's listening. Yeah, all that stuff. All that stuff. <laughs> old wrestling games are great. Old games are great. Old games. Yay! Old games. Yay for old games. Let's have let's have a round of applause for old games. Yeah, let's have a round of applause. Let's uh, kill some time while I bring up my soundboard because I accidentally closed it by accident. Um... Ah, okay, cool. That's really good. Remember that time you ruined the spear for me? I've got a walk. Yeah. What? <laughs> Moral of the story is, play God of War more. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, oh, man. Right, let's talk gaming news. What have you got? Um, nothing. Just kidding. Um, oh, what? <laughs> uh, so, we haven't done games of, the year, games of the month yet, have we? Oh, no, let's do that. Yeah, let's do, do you see that. that um, before we do that, do you see that Sony uh, bringing out a... Um... Oh, for fuck's sake, I forgot what it's called. You know, like Xbox have, to for people who have oh. disabilities to be able to play games? Yeah, the access- accessibility controller. Yes, that. Yeah, Have we seen the thing. PlayStation bringing one out? The, yeah. the snooker one. Hmm. Yeah, really cool. Good stuff. Yeah, really cool. Good good stuff. The more people that can play the games, the better. Gaming is fun. Yeah, it's definitely. Friendly. It absolutely is. Did you see also uh, that there's going to be like 30 plus PlayStation 2 VR games coming out when... Uh, sorry, PlayStation VR 2 <laughs> games coming out. I was going to say, you got me excited in, there for a second. <laughs> yeah, PlayStation VR? PlayStation <laughs> 2 VR? What? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Uh, but yeah, this is actually, yes. And the Gran Turismo 7 has been announced for it. And Beat Saber. Yeah. yeah. Also, don't make a Gran Turismo movie, for fuck's sake, you know? That movie? God. Why are they... <laughs> yeah, there's... so it's got Orlando Bloom in it. He was right. in Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if you knew who he was. So I, I, just thought I'd... I thought I'd throw a bit of knowledge away. Oh, I love <laughs> Pirates movies. Classics. Um, oh, come on. The first one's good. Oh yeah, the first one's Atlantic. The rest are. Then we start moving into Transformers territory. Yeah. <laughs> good, good point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised he's not turned up in one of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, David Harbour's in it, who I like. David Harbour. If you don't know who he is, Finn, uh, he's in Stranger Things. He plays Hopper. Uh, okay. Not in Stranger, Stranger Things. things have you? No. no. Okay. He's also goodness. he was in he was Hellboy in the latest Hellboy movie, which apparently sucked. I never saw it, but oh, shame. He's married to Lily Allen. There you go. Nice fun fact for you. If you know yeah. who she is. I do. I know the name. She's a singer. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I know she is. Yeah. Sorry. It's been a, you're it's been you're a the most to... pop culture person of all time. It's been a while since I heard that name. Yeah. But no, I don't, well, I don't think she does a lot anymore, so you can be forgiven. Yeah, yeah. It's been many years since I heard that name. But yeah, yeah. they've basically released like a teaser trailer for the Gran Turismo movie, and guess what? That's it was cars driving around a track. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's and that's it. it. The Fast and the Turismo. Cool. And there was some kissing Comment. in there as well. So there's a romance story shoehorned in. Because obviously there's, there is. The cars are kissing or people? People. Oh, okay. That's less Unless they're like going full like Disney cars on us <laughs> where it's like, you know, like Lightning McQueen and stuff. That'd be more interesting. Mitsubishi Lancer and Dodge Viper are kissing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Weirdest pervy fan fiction of all time. <laughs> it, it almost definitely exists. I saw you. I'm if it, m- most like most likely that it does, yeah. Yeah, if, if it exists, there is porn of it. It's one of the rules of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Good old internet. Good old perverts. <laughs> so what I did uh, notice um, this is totally off topic. Uh, we've been watching this TV show, which you'll like, which I think you would really like actually on Netflix called Alice in Borderland. Oh yeah. So it's Japanese. Um, you can have English dubbed or you can watch it with Japanese subtitles of you cool but Japanese people are perverts oh yeah big time like if there's an opportunity to focus in on arse it's there <laughs> yeah it happens yeah it's, it's yeah. Like, a, like 
Japanese video games. You know, it's the same sort of thing a lot of the time. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I like the school uniforms are so fucking pervy and weird. It's like... It's a bit weird. It's a little bit weird, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah Japanese people are perverts, but you should check out Alice in Borderland. It's really, really good. There's two seasons of it. The new one's just come out, so... Cool. Uh, okay. I think you would very much enjoy that. It's basically... So it's a gamer. Um, basically, it's a gamer and his friends, they get trapped in this world okay. where there's nobody else um, but, like, select people, and they have to complete games to eventually escape nice it's really good you should definitely check it out i my description of it makes it sound really bad but (laughs) i can assure you that it's really good yeah that's on time that's something i I enjoy yeah i think you would very much enjoy it plus it's you know it's got arse focusing on it so if you if you like that 10 out of 10 yeah 10 out of 10 (laughs) yeah that's cool that sounds fun i'll check it out yeah it's good awesome so yeah what games are coming out this month right month games of the month let's have a look uh, we'll go through the biggest ones. Some will go to all of them. Um, let's have a look. So we've got the Persona 3 and 4 uh, ports coming to console. Yay, finally. Yeah, I, no- I noticed them on Game Pass, actually. Yeah, so Persona 4 uh, Golden, which was a beta game originally, came out on PC uh, last year, or the year before. Mm. Uh, very positively received. And now finally, they're bringing it to console, along with Persona 3 Portable, which is for the PSP. Um, personally, I would have preferred if they bought the PS2 one, because... Like the PSP version got a lot of stuff taken out. Did get some a few things added to it, but also a few things taken away. Um, oh, okay. Because you know it's it's a little tiny PSP portable thing. Didn't have a lot going for it, <laughs> power power wise. So some stuff had to be taken no. out. Um, but it's still very cool that we're getting it. And there's there's apparently a rumor that there is a Persona Three remake being made, which is very cool. It does seem like there's a lot of Persona stuff going on. I mean, there, there seems to be Persona games coming out all like, all, yeah, all the time yeah. in some capacity. Yeah, Persona's had a big year, which is very cool. I think there's, there's, they've, got, they've got something brewing up in uh, Atlas. I'm not sure what. But... Will, will you be playing on Xbox, those games? Probably, because it's free. Oh, well, yeah, console. that's it. They're on Game Pass. So. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I think I'll play them on Xbox. And you can pre-install them now. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. What else have we got? Uh, Dead Space remake is coming out very soon. Yep. A lot sooner than I thought it was. Uh, January 27th or something like that? Uh, yep, spot on. Love Dead Space. One of my favourite horror games from back in the day, from <clears throat> the 360 slash PS3 era. Mm, that's crept so, up. Yeah, it really has. Out of nowhere. Um, yeah, it looks amazing. I haven't seen a lot of trailers. I've only seen the one trailer, which didn't show an awful lot. There has been more. There's been like, I think they did a gameplay showcase and stuff oh, yeah. like that. But to oh, be honest, I was trying to avoid it. Like I did with Callisto Protocol, I avoided a lot of it. Yeah. And just I... went in because I know it'll be good. I know I like it. So, yeah, exactly. That's why I, I tend to try and avoid this stuff as well. Um, but yeah, very cool. Can't wait for that. It's going to be so fun. Mm. Uh, Forspoken comes out on January 24th. I uh, played it. Oh, demo. really? That's that's this month, is it? It is, yeah. You played, played oh, the demo. Jesus, I had no idea. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's good. I enjoyed the demo. Some people were less infused about it. It's not like a ten out of ten must buy day one kind of thing, but no, it's, it's I one, liked it. Yeah, I liked it. Want, want to put it on the wish list? I reckon for like a, a sale or something. Yeah, I hope the full game is a bit more polished than the the demo was. I know it was a demo, so you know, obviously there's going to be uh, it's going to be a little bit rough around the edges, but you expect it to be relatively close to the full release. But yeah, I, I liked it. I mean, it wasn't anything special. Um, it didn't look as great as I was expecting it to look. Yeah, I think that's a general consensus mostly. It's like it's good, mm. but not you know, not that good. Uh, yeah, it looked problems. a lot better, but <laughs> yeah. it's not that great looking. But it's fine. It, it played nicely, and that, it was quite interesting. Yeah. Don't get me wrong; it wasn't terrible. It wasn't fucking Pokemon Scarlet and whatever <laughs> the other one's called, Violet. Yeah, which are all good games. It just wasn't like shit. Um, yeah, and look like shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if it, it's one of those. It's like I hope it does well, but meh. it's gonna bomb, isn't it? Yeah, probably. It comes, you know, it comes after like a huge year of big releases, and it's coming on the same sort of time as Dead Space and these other huge games that are coming out. So the, the problem is, where do you shoehorn it? Because there's so many games coming out this year that are gonna be good. Yeah, it's very true. So, yeah, where do you put it? But it, I, it, I, I think it's going to bomb, and I think you'll see it reduced quickly. 
yeah. which is a shame because it does look really good. But yeah, um, yeah, I think it's going to bomb, which which sucks. But it does. But yeah, not, not every for those that are waiting success. for sales, though. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, on January twentieth, we have a new Fire Emblem game, Fire Emblem Engage, which is uh, coming out a lot sooner than I thought as well. The last one was uh, Three Houses, which came out, which feels like it came out last week, but it's been out for years now. Um, oh. It's on Switch, right? Yeah, Switch game. Fire Emblem is the Nintendo property, you know. But it's yeah, that's good. Classic Fire Emblem. I don't know if you ever played a Fire Emblem game or not. Uh, no, but I have seen uh, like Digital Foundry guys on Twitter talking about this, and they said it looks um, and runs really well. Yeah, it's a turn-based um, RPG action game with some light uh, visual novel elements, basically. Hmm. Yeah, so it's a U like, game, pretty, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks cool, and it's classic Nintendo to just be like, "Oh, here's our game that's coming out." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Next week, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Cheers, Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? Uh, oh, SpongeBob SquarePants, the Cosmic Shake. New SpongeBob game coming up the tails of the uh, the remaster of the PS2 game, which is very good. It's really good. Way better than it has any right being. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this obviously that did obviously did very well. So I thought, oh sweet, we'll make a new one. Which is what they've done. And it's coming out on the thirty first. It looks really good. Yeah. That see that feels like it came out like. A couple of months ago, but I feel like that's been out ages now as well. Yeah, a long time. It came on like Lasers and Plus, which is why, why I played it. Oh, well, there you go then. That's 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 how long it's been out. <laughs> yeah. But no, great game. Good game, yeah. Really good game. Uh, well, I was looking through the list here. I think that's all the the bigger ones. Um, yeah, Dragon Ball C, Kakarot, and it's already come out on old consoles. It's coming out new ones. Uh, one it's like pi- a big One Piece. Yeah, good set actually. One Piece Odyssey, which is a big uh, JRPG based on the anime. Cool. Yeah. Um, that's about it, really. It's a game called Scrap Riders coming out on my birthday. Nice. Called what, sorry? <laughs> Scrap Riders. Come out January okay. 9th, my birthday. No idea what it is. Let's have a look. It's the pin game. Oh, it's a 2D side scrolling beat em up, I think. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Kind of like, like retro Street of Rage style beat up. Oh, well, you said retro, and now I'm all in. Yeah, exactly. Looks fun. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah I think that's all the biggest games coming out this month. Good month. Yeah, it's a good month. What's your pick of the month? Uh, it's going to be Dead Space, I think. But you you went, ooh, at SpongeBob. True, SpongeBob. So that, that is very interesting. You're like, ooh, <laughs> ooh, SpongeBob. Yeah, SpongeBob. <laughs> is that all that's coming out this month? I'm sure there was something. I know there's a lot of big games there, but I'm sure there was more than that. I think that's it for January. January 2023. Uh, it's been game releases. Really Tumble Time on Android. Cool. Risen. Yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, very mediocre game on 360. It's getting ported to new consoles for some reason. Tell you what, it's coming out uh, and comes to Game Pass on the 20th. Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, of course. Yes. I was on Switch originally. Now it's on everything. Yeah, but it's on Game Pass, which rules. That is pretty cool. Very nice. Um, just having a look myself. Aquatico, never heard of that. Superfuse, no, never heard of that. One Piece Odyssey, we just talked about. Story of Seasons, no idea what that is. Hmm, who's a bell? Yeah. Season, A Letter to the Future. Third person atmospheric adventure is the genre. Mm. Uh, yeah, Persona 4 Golden, SpongeBob. Ooh. Um, yeah, Dead Space. So, yeah, you, yeah, that's pr- probably about right, to be fair. Oh, Story of Seasons is uh, Harvest Moon, basically. It's what they, their new name for it. Oh, so it's not that anymore? Uh, it's not Harvest Moon anymore? I think so. It seems like I think that's what it was always called in Japan. Now they've switched it, so it's called it everywhere, I think. I feel or, like Harvest Moon is a catchier name. Yeah, me too. It's, it's a cool name. Like Story of Seasons. I don't know, it's just having to say too much, too many words. Yeah. It looks you know? cute though, like a farming RPG sort of thing. So many of them at the minute. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll blame Animal Crossing. Hey, your uncle owns a farm and it's gone to shit. Okay, I'll go and visit. And then you're like, just planting seeds and bollocks. Yeah, also there are monsters. Have fun. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also there are monsters, uh, but if you plant this special seed, you can grow a weapon to kill this monster. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, there's... Oh, that, that game sounds really good. Yeah, well, that's, that's good that you like them because there's 85 of them to choose from. <laughs> yeah. uh. <laughs> Farms of Woe. There you go. There's a new one. Farms Just made it up. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a better name than Story of Seasons. It is actually, yeah. I like it. Farms what? of Woe. Farms of Woe. <laughs> that's a podcast title this week. Yep, Farms of Woe. <laughs> People are going to look... Uh, these podcast titles going like throughout the years and be like well, how is there so many episodes of this fucking stupid thing <laughs> pretty much yeah that's what I think every now and then like, how are they so- oh <laughs> they've, they've got a, they've got an episode called Front Bum <laughs> Front Bum yeah <laughs> uh, one called Boobs Are Nice Boobs Are Nice yeah, yeah. that's a good one <laughs> Jesus we're, we're, we are idiots I mean there's there's no other real way to say it other than that Pretty much, yeah. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I mean, I like how unique our podcast is. <laughs> Uniquely stupid. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so really, there isn't really that much in the way of gaming news, is there? What are you laughing at now? It's <laughs> just going to our old our podcast, one called Old Man Penis, of course. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, of course there is. Of course, why not? <laughs> yeah. It's got to be about Vince, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, An old man penis. <laughs> <laughs> also, the the thumbnails uh, are, are still outstanding as well. The God of War <laughs> one was brilliant. Oh, the rabbits one last week was uh, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I like to put a little unique touch on it. Well, that's it. You know, it's easy to just fall in line and just have words on a on a on a picture. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I like to make it look unique. Yeah. That's what this podcast is. Unique. Yeah. Oh, no, what, I can't what now. No fingers, just fists. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 110. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I think that was a you episode, actually. I think I was uh, like, either sick or something on like that episode. Oh, really? What, just me? I think so. It's a picture of me crossed out. Oh. Like oh. No fingers, oh, just yeah. fists. Yeah, I, I wasn't in that one. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, so you, you and Kay did it. That's right. Oh, okay. Yeah. God, that was that long ago? That many that many episodes ago? Yeah, long time Holy ago. Holy shit. What year was that? Let's have a look. Uh, uh, tell me. I don't know. Three years ago. Oof. Wow. Wow. Long time ago. I didn't, it I also didn't... just shows how slack we've been with recording the podcast consistently as well. The fact <laughs> that was three years ago, and it was only like 50-something episodes ago. Yeah. The one, the one underneath that is called New Year's Beat Off. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that we're sensible as yeah, well yeah. very sensible and uh yeah mature yeah <laughs> i remember one of the ones it had like a bit of a, a raunchier name it had like the most listens as well but i'm sure <laughs> that as soon as people heard it they were like what the fuck is this <laughs> this isn't what i'm tuned in for <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it good times <laughs> Oh, right, let's talk wrestling. There's been a, a lot going on. <laughs> yes, wrestling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so Wrestle Kingdom happened. It was very good. It's, it is good, but and it's long. boring, ain't it? A little bit. It's, it's a bit long and a bit, yeah, it's a bit much. Yeah, I, I um, like it. I mean, it's, it's very marky. It's very for like, I mean, the, it's, you know, the Japanese, they love it. They're very respectful. Yeah. But god damn it, it makes it a little bit boring. Yeah. Um I haven't seen the whole thing obviously because it's about twenty hours long and it's only the yeah. first night. Um most of that is just like building up to entrances. <laughs> pretty much. I saw Not a... even entrances or wrestling. <laughs> I saw about Kyrie versus Nak- uh, Nanako? Nak- Nakano? Nakano. Something like that. But uh yeah, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a bit short. It's like most of the matches are too long. The one women's match they give it's really short for some reason. Is it like five minutes or something? Yeah. It's like the first women's single match since 1996 in uh, uh, wherever it was, Tokyo Dome. And it was like five minutes long. It's like, oh, okay. I mean, it's good. It's a good match, just very short. Uh, but yeah. then after the match, we had someone, someone that kind of familiar. Uh, her name's Mercedes, Mercedes Monet. It's kind of... Oh, Frankie's, Frankie Monet's sister. That's the one. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, Sasha Banks is in Lucha Brown. Okay, tell me, what did you think about, what did you honestly think about the debut? Um, it was cool until she messed up a finisher, <laughs> which was less cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, I th- it, it's, it's cool, cool to see some out of WWE. It's always cool to see someone new, you know, somewhere else. That makes sense, mm-hmm. doing well somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, it just makes sense, yeah. Um, so yeah, I've, I've mixed feelings. It's cool. I like Sasha Banks um, as a performer. Um, and yeah, it's cool, but I don't know why she bothered trying to do her new finisher. Um, just do her old one. <laughs> she knows how to do that one to make it look good. But yeah, here's the thing as well. I've seen people on the internet be like, oh, she fucked up the DDT. And I was like, that was supposed to be a DDT? <laughs> exactly, yeah. I think it's basically like a gory bomb into like a spinning DDT or something. But it looked super weird and it just didn't work. So back to, back to the drawing board for that one, Sasha. Or yeah, Mercedes. see, I thought she was like just doing like a transition into a, what would then be a submission. Yeah. But that didn't happen. And I, and I saw people on the internet be like, oh, she messed up the DDT. I was like, oh. It was supposed to be a DDT. Cool, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I think it was supposed to turn into a DDT, but she, no, I don't know. It just felt weird, weird. That would have made my life so fucking difficult on commentary. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here with a... Yeah. Wow, that looks big. Oh, <laughs> oh, it was a gory bomb. Yep, that's what it was. A gory thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another thing that irritated me was the, the shit commentary in the build-up to her coming out. Oh, yeah. So, oh, it's going to be... Could... Wow. Oh, it's, it can't be, can it? <laughs> hey, ju- we, we, we all know this is the worst kept secret of all time, okay? But still build it like it's a surprise. Don't go, it can't be, can it? Just be like, oh, what's going You know, really sell it. Yeah. Like, it doesn't seem like it's going hard. But they, yeah, I I, I, I've covered big promotions in this country. I feel like I've, I've some authority to talk about this. Yeah. And the way they did it was just so shit. Like, they didn't give it any surprise. Oh, it is. Oh, is it? Who is it? Because you can't, you can't say a, a, what her old name was. Who is it? Yeah. You dipshits. <laughs> yeah, I Jesus agree. It, was, it, it did feel a bit flat. Because, yeah, we knew it was coming. But if they just made it built up a bit more, made it sound exciting, it would yeah. help. Like, Michael Cole, for example, is really good at doing that kind of thing. Like, yeah, it makes it sound like a huge, big, old, big deal when someone on debuts or comes back. Um, because that's the way it should that. be. You've got to build the surprise. You've got yeah. to, you know, if the lights go out, you know, it's, it's a big ooh moment type thing. And there was oohs in the crowd, but they clearly knew what was coming as well. Yeah. Um, and then the commentary, commentary's like, you know, oh, the lights have gone out, what's going on, uh, whatever. It'd be like that. Yeah. And then, because it doesn't show her face, that's the build to the, the, the whole surprise is the reveal of her face. Yeah. Oh, who is that? Who could it so be? You, yeah, oh, it can't be, can it? It is. <laughs> what are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's who? It's what? What are you talking about? Yeah, she's got a whole new name. Yeah, whole new hair. And she looks kind of weird. But... Yeah, exactly. yeah, she looks different for <laughs> yeah. the most part, you know. So the the commentary really ruined it for me. But you got to be better. Yeah. And if somebody stepped to me and because I tweeted it and I was expecting a little bit of backlash. But I didn't get any backlash, which is good. But yeah. I was expecting, oh, well, you think you can do better? As yeah. to which my response would have been, yes, yeah. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Okay, listen to all my yeah. comedy that I did. Yeah. yeah. Here's, here's, some, here's, here's Chris Ridgway versus Hayata from Wrestle Carnival. Go watch that. Nice. On the Pro Wrestling Noah official on-demand streaming service. Yeah, look at you. It's a big shot. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I, don't want to, I don't like talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool, though. That's very cool. It's pretty cool, to be fair, yeah. But... um. You know, I just think be better. You know, you're, they're paid to do this as a, for a living. Yeah, it's like one of the big wrestling, biggest wrestling company, companies in the world. You think they'd be able to get yeah. someone to better hyping this stuff up? Yeah, just be 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 better in the moment. You know, you have all day to, you have fucking ages to prepare for it. This has been rumored for a month or so. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you, you have a you know you have a long time to prepare. I know sometimes show day you can be nervous or whatever, but. Fuck me. If you're a professional and you're paid to do it for a living, be better. Yeah, I agree. He said sitting behind this camera. <laughs> but yeah, no, I agree. It should, it, should have been, it should have felt bigger than it did. I agree. And, you know, there was, and I know the Japanese crowd are very quiet anyway because obviously they, they're not like American or British crowds. 
Yeah. But I feel like that was that moment was wasted on them. And I, that sounds that sounds like an awful thing to say because I don't I don't want to disrespect that crowd. But obviously, for and she has a lot of fans. So for you know Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet fans, you know it's gonna look like a fairly disappointing debut. And in the, you know it was really. I felt like I feel like if she'd have debuted in AEW before turning up anywhere else, mm. it would have been bigger. Because the yeah. crowd would have gone fucking mental. Excalibur would have done an incredible job on commentary of making her sound like a big deal. Yeah. Um, it's a good point. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but did the commentary say that she was an eight-time WWE tag team champion? Yeah, I had that as well. I was like, no. <laughs> was it two? Yeah. Oh, that's wrong. Do yeah. your research. Yeah. That's mad. That's very strange. But uh... Yeah, very, stra- very, very strange. But... Um, yeah, it's cool that she's there. It's cool that she's doing stuff. I just felt like if she'd have re-debuted in America first before then transitioning over to New Japan, I think it would have had a bigger impact and would have benefited her more. Yes, I agree. That was a very good point. Um, she probably is going to turn up uh, on the next pay-per-view because she's supposed to be um, Paige, oh, sorry, Soraya's mystery partner, supposedly. She did announce it's going to be Tony Storm on this week's Dynamite. I think that's a that's a that's a swerve. I reckon. I think it is too. Now I've read that she's not going to be in AEW. Oh really? That's what Wrestling News Observer or whatever you know Meltzer's thing. Apparently, she's not going to be in AEW. I still I don't think that's true. I no, think it'll, it'll she is going to be. I think because so many people have speculated it, and that's literally the only person that people have said is going to be a tag team partner. They're trying to throw people off the scent. Yeah, because it wasn't just her. It was also had the Sheila was there with her as well, and she was like, they're looking pissed off. Yeah. So I think it's going to be Tony's getting ready for a match. She gets attacked backstage. Oh, who By could Sheeta. be? By Sheila, yeah. Um, then, oh, well, it looks like I ran into backstage. It's Mercedes Monet. Money, 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 money. Awful be, music, be, by the way. That'd be interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't great. No. <laughs> money. Money. Like the guy from fucking Storage Wars. Money. <laughs> Money, <laughs> money. Get it, money. Awful. Because banks. Because money goes yeah. in banks. Oh, uh, get it. The CEO. Yeah, you know? the CEO. Yeah. Doesn't quite have the same thing to it. She had the boss thingies on though as well. I'm sure WWE are going to kick a fucking ass for that. Yeah, I think it was like dollar signs though. I don't think it said boss. I think it's like dollars or something. Oh, I didn't study it. No, no. The one on the video before she came out, uh, they were the boss ones. Oh, were they? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Sued. <laughs> yeah the, the ones um trips. the ones where Whoever. when she actually did come out during her entrance i think they were dollar signs but the one in the video which must they must have filmed like a hype video for her obviously yeah she had the boss ones on oh, okay interesting probably so people knew who she were yeah good point <laughs> but no that's cool but yeah other than that i watched um omega versus um osprey which mm-hmm. is really good wait whoops way too many force finishes for me like once mm-hmm. I don't I, like, I don't mind a pause finish or two, but when it goes into the double dig, double digits, that's a bit much. Um, I agree, and that's a it's a real pet peeve for me in wrestling at the minute. That is the uh, this thing where you have to have a load of false finishes to almost please the fans. Yeah, it's, I, I, by the end of by, by the end every time there's a pause finish, I'll just like oh, okay, because <laughs> it's like I'll just stop yeah. being excited and just be like okay, I'm ready for this to be over now. Uh, then it was cool hitting the one winged angel. Uh, was a big moment and like cool finish. Also, Omega yeah. coming out to uh, Wonder Woman Angel from Final Fantasy Seven was very cool to me as a nerd. Um, <laughs> See, until you put it in Discord earlier on, uh, I didn't know that was linked. Yeah, you, you, you like normal people like you wouldn't, wouldn't have any idea, uh, but nerds like myself would know that uh, that is from the video game Final Fantasy Seven, and he was dressed as Sephiroth, also from the game. Yeah, I, I knew who Sephiroth <laughs> was when you mentioned it, but when only one wing came out, it, it took me so long to click. I was like, where's the other one? <laughs> um, and then I was like, oh. But I didn't know the song was called One Winged Angel from Final Fantasy VII. But yeah. now it makes sense. Yeah. Because Kenny Omega's a nerd as well. Yeah. The lovable nerd that he is. Yeah. Like but uh, I'm a big fan. To be honest, I thought Osprey was going to win. I thought this was just completely set up for Will Osprey to 
to to win and be victorious over the mighty Kenny Omega and reign supreme in New Japan or whatever. Um, and I was so I was really shocked when Kenny won. Yeah, me too. Actually, yeah, I was like, oh, nice, <laughs> cool. So we'll turn up with that on Dynamite, no, no doubt. Yeah, because they've got off the the best of seven uh, final match. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, so I guess Kenny Omega will be able to turn up with the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, but no, we we like Omega. Really good match, but way too many false finishes for me. Yeah, I mean they really threw all their stuff out there as well. But I, you know, I think they'll be this. This won't be the last time. No, don't do it again. I, I think there'll be a big payoff match in AEW. I think that's what the, this whole deal will now eventually turn into. Yeah, I'll get you that. For sure. Um, I don't know if Will Ospreay would go to AEW full-time. I know he's very co- comfortable in Japan and he comes over here and does stuff with RevPro uh, and stuff like that. But I know his contract is up maybe next year. Yeah. So, I mean, I could. he's been on AEW a few times. Yeah, uh, he definitely fits the mold. Uh, I think he's a, a great wrestler, um, and that's pretty much as far as I'd go with him. But uh, I think there's a there'll be a big payoff. There'll be a big match for AEW, which will be huge for AEW. Yeah, uh, and they'll have Kenny Omega versus Will Ospreay in a singles there. Yeah, for sure, and that'd be awesome. Maybe cut down on the fourth finishes though, please. Yeah, it's not needed. I mean, it makes your finishers look weak. Yeah. Your finishing move, is, it's called a finishing move. Exactly. You know, so it should be your finishing move. Look, I get it. Once or twice to, you know, to build, like, you know, one kicks out of one person's, the other kicks out of the other's, that, you know. But if you do it a second time, that's it, you're fucked, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. should be. Like, at least they yeah. saved the one-winged angel for the actual finish. So that's good. I do like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, even so, that's it's a bit much. I agree. It is a little bit much. Uh, but, hey, look, it is what it is. But it's, you know, Wrestle Kingdom, by all accounts, was a good show. Akada, once again, is the uh, the champion. Yep. And I'm a, a, I'm a big fan of Akada. It was awesome when he wrestled uh, for AEW last year. Uh, no, yeah, last year, obviously, because it's only January now. But uh, for the Worlds Collide, no, not Worlds Collide, Forbidden Door pay-per-view. Oh, yeah, not the one. Uh, really surreal seeing him wrestle for AEW. Yeah, no doubt. But it was cool. So um, uh, I'd like to see him do more stuff Yeah. Um, for AEW, but I don't know. I mean, he's their big guy. He's their Roman Reigns. Yeah, pretty much. That's a good way to put it. Uh, but yeah, I want to go back yeah. and watch this match, actually. I planned to watch it before the podcast, but it's a matter of time. But yeah, I'll go watch that later for sure. Yeah. I do like both these. I like Jay White as well. Yeah, me too. Big fan of Jay White. I'd like to see him again. Someone else I'd like to see more of. I'd like to see uh, him in either WWE or back in AEW doing stuff. I'd love yeah. to see him in WWE, actually. I'd love to see what he could bring to the table there. Yeah, how, could... um, how he would be booked in this day and age. Yeah. Not Vince times, obviously. Triple H times. Yeah, I think he'd be a good fit in WWE, I think. He'd be up there with like Seth Rollins and you know, guys like that. I agree. Adam Cole's on He's a great AEW. talker as well. Yeah, Yeah, great. Really good. So I think it'd fit in well. Yeah, I agree. I think I think he'd I think he'd fit in really well. I remember when everyone was kicking off when he first won the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. People were like, "Oh, oh fuck it, oh, shit, uh, doesn't look, he's not." And then now all of you know now he's you know built his way up, leader of the Bullet Club and all that kind of thing. But oh yeah, I would love to see him in in WWE. I really would. Yeah, cool. Book it, Triple H. Yeah, Triple H. Book it. <laughs> um. Charlotte Flair won the uh, the women's title. <laughs> yeah, sure did. So a, a match between Wanda Rousey and uh, Raquel Rodriguez. So who comes out the match as a champion? Charlotte Flair, of course. Sure, yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, we joke about it all the time, like Charlotte Flair just wins all the time. Like, she's always a champion. And yeah, the first day she comes back, five minutes later, she's champion again. Cool. Now, I haven't seen or read anything but there almost feels like there should be more to this, right? Yeah, because it just came out of nowhere. Like, why Why would Wanda, in story, like, in, like, an actual common sense story, agree to that? You just had a, a, a really good match, a really long, good match with uh, Rodriguez. Um, it's just clearly not good. Why would you immediately accept another match right there and then? 
to say no. Yeah, <laughs> build it. So let it. Let it build. You know, you can't. No. The, you know, the Royal Rumble is literally in three weeks. Build to that. Yeah, it's very strange. So I'm sure that happened the match at the Rumble. If one that doesn't wander off, wander off. Uh, um, uh... <laughs> so yeah, it does feel very strange. But I think I don't know. It's strange. Unless she's injured. Maybe. But again, I've not seen anything to suggest that that's the case. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm sure there's a plan for it. Oh, I'm sure there is. But, um, I, I did think it was quite funny when I saw it the day after it happened. I was like, oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course yeah. she's Why not? Yeah, sure. She, but also, she cheated to win. She had like the tights, didn't she? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, because obviously Ronda's playing a heel currently. So, is Charlotte... Also, uh, heel question mark. Who knows? Charlotte, Charlotte's it was... one, one of those where it's just hard to tell. She always does the same base expression. She always the same character, pretty much. So today, I feel like being a heel. Yeah, prefer the old music as well. Yeah, same. But everyone's getting yeah. new music nowadays, unfortunately. Yeah, I hope it's not terrible, but it's not. It doesn't. Just don't, don't feel like it gets to the point as quick as the other one. Yeah, like Johnny Gargano's song is the same, just sung by a different person. It's like, why bother? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why, why bother? Keep why same. bother? Uh, um, so, yeah, Charlotte Flair's the champion, and John Cena's got a, a ridiculous bold, bold patch. Uh, yeah. Poor John. Uh, I say poor John. Uh, but no, it's great. It, the, the match was cool. He did barely anything, but I understand why, you know, his big celebrity he doesn't want to get hurt while he's filming 20 different things. So, but yeah, cool to see it back on SmackDown. Yeah, very. Yeah, very cool to see him back on SmackDown. Um, yeah, he hasn't lost a beat, really. Yeah, he's still the same old John. Not not that he does a lot anyway, yeah. but he's such a huge star. It's like it's absolutely ridiculous, really, how big a star he is and how much of a draw he is, considering how you know sick of him people were. Yeah. Like when he's not there anymore, it really shows how much he is missed when he's not there. Oh, yeah, big time. Yeah, What's the stuff. payoff for all this Roman Reigns stuff? What do you think? Hmm. I don't know. I want to. I want to say it all leads to Sammy winning the title. I don't think it will. Uh, I do think they'll break up sooner rather than later, and Sammy will have a have a good match against Roman Reigns, but it'll be like a, a losing effort eventually. Do you think um, they drag it to Mania? Probably. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I don't know. What's between Royal Rumble and Mania? Uh, Elimination, Elimination Chamber? Chamber. Yeah. I don't know because I can't. I can't see that happening at Elimination Chamber, like a like a B tier pay per view. Nah. But no, I'd, I'd love to see Sammy versus Roman at Mania, but I don't know. I feel like it'd be more like a Cody Rhodes or someone like that. Well, I mean, like like we talked about the last on the last podcast, or the one before, I can't remember which. But you know, the the talk there is Roman wrestling both nights. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, and also they want to split the championships up, don't they? Hmm. So does he defend one one night and one the other and Maybe. lose both? Or does... Cause I find it difficult to believe that he's going to keep the championship beyond WrestleMania, any championship. Because I feel like after Mania, he'll then take a, you know an extended bit of time off. So on based on that logic, he's going to lose both belts. Yeah. Maybe having to lose it to Cody night one and uh, Sammy night two or something like that. Or he forfeits it. It's competed for inside the elimination chamber. Oh, interesting. And then Reigns defends it against whoever on night two of WrestleMania. And that's how they do it. Because then you can have two different main events. Because obviously you could have Roman defend one night and whoever the Raw champion is defend the other night. Assuming he would keep the Universal title. Yeah, interesting. I like it because I think that because be, usually what it is would be, you know, well the winner of the Royal Rumble would wrestle in the main event of WrestleMania for the title, but then the Elimination Chamber would sort of determine who fights for the other title. That's a good point. Good point. So why not make the Elimination Chamber feel like a bigger deal by having it for the championship? Yeah, good point. That was what, that was what would they be doing fighting for? That's a good point. Who fights Roman on night one, I uh, guess? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. It's interesting. We'll see where it goes, but we'd like to find out. The, the, 
They're obviously building Cody Rhodes for a comeback. Yeah, big time. Because obviously he his he had a video package and stuff on Raw this week, and so you know that's happening soon. And you would imagine at the Raw Rumble. Yeah. Or he'll come back. The thing with Cody, the entrance, you know, doesn't really give off that surprise Royal Rumble entrant vibes. Yeah. The lights go out. Because you have to have boom, that boom. whole build up, don't you? Yeah. It's one of one the wrestling royal family. No 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 no. What else though? <laughs> but yeah. I know what you mean. So he goes back at the chamber, maybe? Maybe. And wins well maybe. I could see him winning the chamber match for sure. That'd be a good return. It would. Yeah, it would. I don't know. I, I, it's difficult to see how they do it, but I'm sure they'll figure it out and I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, it's actually kind of a good way to to, to be, like not knowing, because a lot of the time, especially under Vince's reign, it's like you knew exactly what was going to happen weeks before it happened because it's so obvious where the storylines are going. Whereas now, we've yeah. got, you go, anyway, like Kevin Owens is still in the mix, we've got Sami Zayn still with the bloodline, um, you got Cody Rhodes coming back soon, probably, all this other stuff going on, so it's like... There's lots of different parts. This is why they need. They, this is why they need to separate the titles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, it's cool. I like it. I like. I like where we're at right now, wrestling wise. Me too. Me too. Have you seen AEW this week? I haven't had a chance yet. Okay, I won't. We won't talk spoilers. Yeah, we can if we want. Or, or do you know um, a certain championship? How a certain championship match ended? <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Which one? Um, the one, the main event one, or the tag one? Uh, the one involving Smojo. Okay, right. Simone, yeah. Simone Joseph. Okay. Simone Joseph. So, yeah, Darby <laughs> Allen won the uh, the TNT Championship. Yes, good. Cool. Good. Hopefully, this this moves to TNT Championship back up the card a bit because right now you kind of kind of got stuck in limbo for a bit when Wardlow had it. Um, There's no no fault of Wardlow's, just kind of, kind of like the booking was a bit weird. So yeah, yeah and it's, it's which is more, bizarre really. considering just how over Wardlow was, you know, six months ago. Yeah, it's very strange. I think MJF leaving, like right after that or whatever it was. Yeah, um, kind of took the shine away from his reign a little bit, and then his booking after that was just not very good at all. So it's, yeah, yeah, strange. But hopefully now Darby Allen can bring some more. Um, I don't know. Attention to it. I hope All so, yeah. Um, <laughs> I know that Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal wrestled for the AEW tag team titles this week. Oh, yes. That's the Uh They didn't win. Good. But I think they did, and then they didn't. Oh. Weird. I haven't seen it. I need to go watch it. Uh, apparently, it was a really good match. I haven't watched it either yet. I was going to... I started watching it earlier. I watched the first match, which was Jericho and Ricky Starks. Oh yeah, cool. Which was great. Big fan of Ricky Starks. Um, Jericho is in tremendous shape at the minute. Yeah, I think he can still go. Um, yeah, but I mean, the new set's quite cool. I don't know if you've seen it or not. Um, I saw a bit on Twitter. Yeah, it's cool. It's just big old, big old screens. Yeah, pretty that's much. That's fine. Big screens. Why not? That's what. Well, yeah. Smackdown is. <laughs> so why not? Yeah, literally that. Raw's just a well, both just a massive screen. Remember yeah. when SmackDown came back and it had like a, a shade of the old school with like the the things on the entrance ramp. Yeah, it looked awesome. And then COVID came along and ruined it. <laughs> yeah, cheers, COVID. And then it came back sake. and then the ruin was back to how it was before. Weird. Yep. Oh well. Fucking bullshit. Took about lasted. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, what was SmackDown with decent this week? Yeah, um, Austin Theory and Seth Rollins had a banger. Yeah, great match. Then Seth might be injured. He did put a thing on Twitter, like rebuild, reclaim, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's like he did was setting his knee a little bit, so I don't know if he might have hurt his knee. Because yeah, I think he did like stumble at the dodo suplex, but like his leg gave out or something. Yeah, apparently threw the, threw the X up, didn't he? Oh, did he? Oh, I missed that. That sucks. Um, but I think it was when Austin Theory was sort of celebrating after the match. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, like mm. so, I think uh, Austin Theory was like, celebrating in the corner. Seth was sat in one of the opposite corners, either inside or outside of the ring. And I think he threw the X up and uh, there was people sort of uh, coming to help him into the back, which is a shame, especially given the time of year that we're in. Yeah. Really to the Royal Rumble and then WrestleMania. So it'd be, it'd be crap for, for, for Seth if he is out. Um, yeah. 
But hopefully it's nothing too serious and he can come back. So I read that he was going to be potentially part of the title scene. So, you know, wow. to part of the title scene going into WrestleMania. Interesting. Cool. Imagine him being the champion, then Cody beating him again at WrestleMania to win the title. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I've been stink. Very cool. But yeah, what else? Yeah. I was gonna say, oh, yeah, I can say uh, Austin Theory, uh, probably the best match he's had probably ever on the main roster, or just yeah. in general. Um, it showed to me that he can, you know, someday probably be, you know, a, a big name in WWE. He could be well, I like him. I'm glad they they ditched the 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 mobile phone selfie gimmick. Me too. Uh, I'm glad he now has a full beard. <laughs> yeah. He looks like less of an idiot. He looks, <laughs> you know, I think he, I think it just suits him a lot better. It, I don't know why or what it is, but it makes him seem a little bit more legitimate. Yeah. But no, um, no. But yeah, I I agree. I think that's probably his, his best match. Um, but you know, Seth Rollins absolutely helps that. He's just oh, so good, so good, so so good, so so good. But um, yeah, so Raw, Raw was good. Yeah, SmackDown was good. NXT has been consistently good. AEW is once again very good every week. So wrestling's in a just a fantastic place right now. It really is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you see um, Dominic's um, little promo on more? Little video Off from prison. Yeah, yeah. Let <laughs> me laugh so much. I love it. I know, you don't you know what it's like on the inside. <laughs> yeah, like the teardrop tattoo. <laughs> yeah. And the toothpick. That was so good. <laughs> it's it's funny, but I, I you know since Dominic sort of split away from Rey Mysterio, he's got so much more personality <laughs> yeah. and a lot more to him. And joining the Judgment Day and turning him heel was the best that they could have ever done. Oh yeah, big time. I just love the characters playing like this this guy who thinks it's really cool but it's actually just like a, a huge nerd <laughs> yeah big time yeah and it, it. but it, it's it's so good and I, I like what they're doing with the judgment day to be honest I, I think the judgment day have gone from strength to strength yeah like, like all of them Maria to be in there everyone in the they agree between really well I like it a lot. for sure yeah yeah definitely but yeah WWE's in a, a very very good place at the minute and it has been for months now obviously since the old man went away into perverted obscurity <laughs> yeah I have one other thing I thought was funny. Maybe not funny for Kaylee Ray, but like a table spot on NXT. Oh, yeah. He jumped off the top of the turnbuckle onto Isla Dawn, who was on the table, but missed the table completely. And then the referee ran over to check on Isla Dawn while Kaylee Ray was on the floor on the heat. <laughs> <laughs> like, just fine. It was so weird because, like, Kaylee Ray did connect. Yeah. But like how light it. are both of them for the, for just nothing to happen? Yeah. Just bounce off the table. <laughs> like, lift on the way down. So it's funny that Kaylee. But then Rose, she did the gory bomb into the table, so it was fine. Yeah, that was way cooler. Um, but that's sort of funny. Kaylee was like in a heap after jumping off onto like, yeah. fairly, <laughs> fairly padded concrete. concrete. They both just ran straight past her. Like, Are you okay, either? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not Kaylee's just in a, in a in a massive heap on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's what's she called now? Alba Fire. Oh yeah. Sorry, I keep calling her the wrong thing, but yeah, Alba Fire. I know exactly who you meant. So yeah. yeah. I think if Vince wasn't a you know. To, didn't take over NXT, that name wouldn't have changed. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a very Vince yeah. thing. It's such a Vince thing. I mean, I don't hate it. No. It's, it's a cool name. We just, we already knew it as someone else. So why change it? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, actually, where's Piper Niven gone? Or uh, oh, yeah. Dewdrop? Or is she just like falling off the face of the earth? I mean, surely <laughs> she's got to be, I don't know, maybe due back at some point. I'm guessing without the Dewdrop gimmick and. Yeah, I think they're probably in the process of repackaging her and waiting for a good time to bring her back into the main onto the yeah. uh, main roster. So I think she could be a big player. Yeah, big time. She's really good. Like NXT UK, she's awesome. excellent. She's been around before NXT UK for a long time. God, she's... yeah. I mean, obviously they, they can't call her Viper for obvious reasons, yeah. but <laughs> um, you know, if she's going to come back, or they call her Piper Niven or whatever they call her, I don't know. They give her a name. Yeah, as long as it isn't Dewdrop, which is still you know. A massively shit name, even now. Yeah, really stupid. Um, yeah, I think we'll see her coming up to the Rumble at some point. If not, coming back in the Rumble. Yeah, and maybe. But yeah, yeah, maybe. Then, but yeah, I wanted to be near yeah. the top because it's you know she's very good. Let, let she's her. very very good. I'm a big fan of her. I really do like her. But I always have liked her. I liked her when you know before. Yeah. But yeah, it's uh, it's good to see her. It'd be good to see her back and and doing stuff in WWE once again. I'm sure she will. Triple H obviously has ultimate faith in her because not only did you know was she doing stuff in nxt she was sorry in nxt uk she was doing stuff in normal nxt as well under triple yeah. h so yeah i think he'll bring her back soon 
yeah, definitely. For sure. But yeah, wrestling's in a great place right now. And I just hope it keeps going from strength to strength this year, which I'm sure it will. Yeah, definitely. Good times ahead. Yeah, absolutely good times ahead. And I think that's about it for this week. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. I keep moving my camera because my cable's dangling down. I just knocked a cushion over. Uh, talking more. <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's all going wrong. It is. Um, but yeah, no, that's it, yeah, good times. What are we talking about? <laughs> that being the end of the podcast. I think. Oh yeah. But yeah, no, it's a good podcast. I liked it. A lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff happened. We've had, we we had a and we're back because we're going to be doing this all year. Yes, absolutely. Weekly from now on. Yes, weekly, one hundred percent. Next Tuesday, uh, not next Tuesday, but Wednesday, we'll record because I'm at the football on Tuesday. Cool. Like it. We need to do more uh, game nights as well. Rocket League. Yes, definitely. That was Rocket awesome League. last time when we all played Rocket League. Yeah, we kicked us. Yeah, we Get did. We, you know, we can we can play more more of the you know the free games that are out there. Four guys, even Fortnite, if we really wanted to. <laughs> I know. If you I must. know. But, but well, yeah, we don't have to. <laughs> but yeah, anything. It's, I'm, an, I'm, it's I'm, an option. It's an option. It's an option. Okay. I'll let it go. Yeah, but yeah. I'm a, I'm a yeah. friend. Then whatever you guys want to play, I'll 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 be there. Yeah, sounds good to me. But for now, this has been episode 165 of the Games and Grabs podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that post across podcast services everywhere, everywhere, and youtubecom forward slash Games Grabs. Go yeah. follow us, Finn on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash the Finn Steel. Uh, go follow me on Twitter at Sunny underscore club and Finn is at the Finn Steel 88. Just Finn Steel. Oh, just the Finn Steel? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. My, oh, my Twitch used to be Finn Steel 88, but I changed it so it matches everything else. There you go. Yeah. Finn is social media and channel savvy. <laughs> yeah, Italy. There you go. <laughs> my name's Sunny G and I've been with Finn Steel and we'll see you next week. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Divas. Divas. <laughs>